Uh, as a Democrat leading toward Biden, what, is, what would you like to see from, from a president in 2024? Uh, let's see. I'm going to pick education, and I'm going to say that education is a key issue in our society. So I want no books banned. I'm very anti anything being banned. You don't want your kid to read it? That's fine. I want my kid to read a little bit so of what everything. about like the 2,500 the, books banned so far, Will? Trans, yeah. The trans I, they, advocacy, she can, I have one daughter. elementary she can school. Read, she can read whatever she wants to read at an age appropriate to what she so is. So how about like but the any, Bible? But what if we wanted to teach the Bible? I'm Catholic. I've, I've already taught her about the Bible because so, I'm Catholic. No, that was Dr. Janine Downey, a Democratic voter from New Jersey. And Fox News ghoul Pete Hegseth didn't know what he was getting into when he asked her about her policy choices. Hegseth jumps on the defensive, but there is no stopping the good doctor. All it's not history, in the Constitution, all but that's history a whole should thing. be taught. That is African American history, Native American history, Latino history, um, you know, Asian history, Caucasian history. All history should be taught in public schools. So I'm going to say I'm very pro it's, education. It's so interesting because education mm -hmm. will be a topic cutting mm -hmm. in both directions. Very pro and you education. Described it differently than I think some many of our other panelists Which means would that as well. DeSantis is a thumbs down because he doesn't want to educate people on black history. And so I take that as a well, personal I think affront. This now notice in that clip that Hegseth tries to do a little groupthink shaming. He tells Downey that her answer isn't what everyone else in the group would say and gives her a chance to back down. But she doesn't because she knows what she's talking about. Then things get really interesting. That's You're a false statement. And, and he can, you can be anti-black and be black. So his anti-black. You want to keep blacks slip, on the school, put your slip back school in. plantation. Put your slip back in. Yeah. School choice. <laughs> school choice is a civil rights issue. Separation right? of church Absolutely. and state. It's the Underground Railroad to give black and brown children an opportunity in well, this country. You're anti-black history. You just told oh, me. No. I, I don't think anyone is anti-black no, history. No, he, he that was is saying a that before. Hyperbole mm -hmm. on top of whether mm -hmm. you want a radical Marxist theory and critical race theory being taught to kids that divides them. That doesn't make you anti-black history. Man, give this woman a show. Dr. Downey, if you ever want to come hang out with me here on Rebel HQ, I would love to chat with you about all of these issues. And can someone check on Pete Hegseth? I think he just had a stroke. What Downey is talking about is the very real trend of Republicans banning massive numbers of books, over 2,500 titles last year alone, and Republicans are already trying to beat that number this year. And there's nothing subtle about what these book bans achieve. Just ask Amanda Gorman, the 25-year-old poet laureate who read her work at Joe Biden's inauguration. Florida schools banned that poem after one single parent made one single complaint. Just like that, Amanda Gorman was gone. Book banning has always been about erasure. The only difference today is that Republicans have taken their masks off, and they don't particularly care what marginalized groups think about what they're doing. It's part of a pattern that we're seeing all across the country with school districts <laughs> pulling books off shelves overwhelmingly. The books that are targeted are by and about authors of color, LGBTQ narratives. So it's quite apparent what this is about. It's an effort to erase certain segments of our population, to marginalize particular stories, to prevent kids from seeing themselves in the books that they find on the shelf. And, you know, here in the United States, the idea that books are dangerous, that ideas are so dangerous that we should pull them and hide them away from children. Republicans aren't backing down. In Florida, legislation signed by Ron DeSantis already bans many books for younger students up to grade three. Now DeSantis has expanded that power to 12th grade, an act that gives him sweeping authority over every single day of a student's education. If you're curious what some of the offensive books are that DeSantis so badly needs banned, this Florida library goer has already done the hard work for you. Take a look and be careful these are apparently really dangerous books. I reckon The Hauntist. The Big Lie. The Big Lie. Right, it's all about Judaism. Women of Nigeria. Hitler. El Salvador. These are presidential. These are just a few of the books that have been deemed inappropriate. Lewis and Clark. They're removing these books from our library. Jefferson Republic, I, I, don't, I don't understand. 20th century writers. Ah, the Encyclopedia of Mammals, huh? That sounds a lot like science. And you know who talks about science? The libs.
Now do your part as a patriotic Floridian and help me pour some gasoline on all these books. Republicans are doing more than attacking our freedom of speech and expression. They're attempting to undermine our free culture by ridding it of any challenging ideas. The poet Elizabeth Alexander says it best. We're feeling the impact of these bigger and bigger steps toward restriction, censorship, and disempowerment in education. And I must ask, what exactly do those who are banning education fear? What do you think they fear? Well, I mean, I really do have questions. Uh, do they fear a fully functional, multivocal, multicultural democracy where everybody's voice is important and where we acknowledge that we come from many different places and together make up this extraordinary country? The GOP's war on books is more than a war on wokeness. It's a war on thought itself and the right we all have to explore the full reality of our world. The GOP wants to eliminate those parts it finds problematic. They have that view about a lot of things. If Republicans win the White House next year, the GOP's worst book bans will become a blueprint for national censorship. Our history is at risk of being rewritten, and we won't like the version Republicans come up with. So, yeah, this is, this is what's going on. If that got you fired up, check out these anti-gay Karens who spent their afternoon heckling low-paid Target employees. And as always, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.